Hello everyone, this is the Pigle Cavalier here and today we are going to take a deep dive down uh, into the concept of microtransaction and why they exist in our gaming. I know this is not a speculative topic but I'm going to make it a speculative topic and I'm going to blabber or I'm going to you know talk about uh, why they do this to all the AAA games. And uh, there are some games that don't do that obviously like the Witcher 3 franchise uh, and in I think even in Mass Effect 3 they didn't do this but when you get a game um, that is $60 okay you get a game that is $60 and the DLCs are not going to be included in that so you're going to get uh, you're going to pay another $20 to do that or if the game is uh, like Fallout 4 and they have a season pass which consists of like $30 or $40 okay. and beyond that you're not going to pay anymore right that's what you think at least but then, then you go into the game, go into the multiplayer part of things, and then you will see like microtransactions. Why do they exist? Who put them there? And who kind of took that mobile game culture into PC gaming or console gaming even? Why, why would they do this? Um, so this is a speculation. Nobody knows because this was present in my... You know mobile games and then all of a sudden everyone brought in that not so there's not like one game that started it and then everyone followed like everyone took uh, inspiration from that I mean who the fuck would do this I paid the uh, what like hundred dollars for a game and I don't want to pay anymore I mean supporting the developers is one thing and all but this is like money grabbing at the best <sighs> again if you guys have uh, if you guys want to talk about this, if you if you guys want to have a conversation about this, uh, let me know in the comments down below or in the discussion page of my channel or hit me up on a, any social media platform. I'm available there or you can come to Twitch uh, when I'm live streaming and then we can have an interactive stream. So we can talk about this. But today I want to rant about this because I'm a little bit pissed off at all the microtransactions in everything. Uh, because like for example, I bought Mass Effect Andromeda, okay, for thirty dollars, standard edition. I didn't even go for the uh, new gold edition or stuff like that. I didn't go that because I don't have that kind of a money. So I spent uh, standard edition, and so I didn't get any of the bonuses that others would have gotten. But that's fine by me. And when I went to multiplayer, so I was grinding for uh, loot boxes. I was like. Three, four hours doing that, and then I saw a page of uh, information where, like, uh, if you want to have more uh, easy way to do this, uh, spend us like uh, ten dollars, you will get uh, the utmost awesome loot box. And then I was like, come on, why would I want to do that? So if, okay, given the fact they are looking for the whale, okay, they are looking for the whale that guy comes in and then buys the loot box for ten dollars he didn't enjoy the game he just bought the pack because he had money and he plays the game and for a guy who spent like ten hours in the game doesn't get respected but the guy who spends ten dollars gets respected so what's the fun in that isn't gaming created for fun isn't game created for entertainment in when they cheaply turned um, you know gaming entertainment into business model it's gonna fail and given five years from now uh, six years from now we are gonna see the fall of gaming or the business publishers uh, if they continue on this dark path they have to stop this mainly EA I mean sorry to say this but they're really pissing me off whenever I go to a game whatever go whatever games I can find it find on my hands I'm like might be a part of it as a microtransaction. In mobile games, if they have microtransaction, okay. Uh, in mobile games, I try. I played um, games like uh, Dragon City. It's a cool game, but it's a free game again. So when I go and play the free game, and when I stuck here for a certain point, they'll be, f you know, intuitively saying, okay, if you pay us, you can be, uh, no, you free. You can have a, like free time. But I won't do that. They will be like eight hours, spend eight hours, or pay us eight uh, eight bucks. I'll be like, I spend eight hours. It's a free game. I can do whatever the fuck I want. And giving them money is my decision. 
okay giving the money is my decision they are not going to put a stop there okay year after you have to pay to get the content they are not going to do that it's just like um, if you have the money you can do that. but this is um, pc gaming this is like all the triple a games again sixty dollars is a high price for any triple a games and then you don't give us the dlcs and everything for that you want another fifty dollars or so and if you pay pay that as well you're gonna have microtransaction in it as well who the fuck you think you are i own the game this game is mine and i just wanted to do this um, a long time ago but i was like chill i was like okay calm i don't want to get into this stuff but as the day goes on I, a lot of games have been doing the same thing i'm getting pissed off even the small games not even the don't take the triple a games even the small games with multiplayer are doing this i mean gaming industry is coming to an end guys if it goes like this i'm sure the prices are also going up high uh, have you heard about the new xcom 2 war of the chosen price it's 40 dollars yeah the expansion is 40 dollars for access good going yes i can uh, contextualize the content that you're giving us i can say it I can say it worth while. I, I, I'm gonna say it's worthwhile for sure. Forty dollars, really? Long War 2 gave more content than yours did. Okay. The modders are the only reason that XCOM 2 is still standing in a good position, because when the game uh, released in 2016, it had a lot of bugs, a lot of uh, crashes, and modders kind of took it in their hands to kind of fix all of those. And uh, the bugs were coming out on the Overwatch stuff, on wasting time, on camera reaction, camera movement. And they kind of removed all that with different mods and it kind of like became a staple. And if you don't have that mod, you cannot play the game perfectly. So modders are the one uh, that are carrying XCOM 2. And I've seen the War of the Chosen stuff. I've been closely following it in Steam, uh, all in all the discussion threads and their twitch channel their youtube channel their twitter channel i've been like waiting keenly for new information this that i've seen the gameplay from christopher odd and then like i've i've been like blatantly looking for any new information about the game and from what i could have gathered like what everything that i've said everything they have said okay these are the things that these are the features they are all present in mods so if i like add 10 mods and then if i add 11th mod as long war 2 I love War of the Chosen, except for the hero factions and uh, the alien chosens. That's the six characters that are in, in implemented in the game. Except that everything is in the mods. Okay, the, some game not gameplay features are newly added, but those are not worth uh, forty dollars. You know, it's a little too steep for my taste. I don't know if I'll get it, but I surely will get it because I want to play that game in my live stream and I want to showcase that guy, it guys to you and we can have a interactive session. That's my that was my plan actually, but seeing forty dollars on Steam page, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's an expansion. Uh, it's actually the funny thing is it's actually close to the base game price, and pre-order is now live but i don't know if we can pre-order it because there is no incentive bonus to that and you might be going in the chat like oh no we shouldn't pre-order for that oh fuck you to be honest with you i'm buying the game before any reviews that comes out even ign hasn't done any reviews angry joe hasn't done any reviews i don't know anything about the game there is no curators in steam that have talked about the game there is no uh, you know people review for the game in steam there is no any other place there is not going to be anything else so without any of this i'm buying the i'm spending 40 dollars on a game it might be crashy it might be buggy you know it might be a fucking mess the missions they promised were not present there and i spent like 40 dollars and i'm like what what i'm gonna do then so don't buy the game guys don't pre-order it never pre-order any games in this day and age because developers are you know the publishers are there to screw us the, the developers the developers are cool but the publishers are assholes so don't pre-order it just wait for the game wait for the review and then buy it like me and then i'll play it on my twitch channel we can hang out together and then we can play the game and thank you guys for watching this just my speculate you rant if that makes sense um so speculate along with me that who brought in the microtransaction culture into gaming 
PC gaming, console gaming, any sort of AAA games. It's just um, insulting to us. Okay. You're, we are game owners. We are not uh, pirating the game. We are not uh, playing the game on, you know, from black market sites. We bought the game originally. We bought the game on, you know, legit sites. But then we are seeing microtransaction like this. It's just so annoying. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below guys what you think about this uh, are you annoyed or are you really pissed off as well and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one bye